poppin'. How y'all doing? How y'all living? It's your boy Amari, and we are back with another album review. This time, we got Coldplay. Yeah, Coldplay stepped up and dropped us an album, and I think we should talk about it, because to be honest, say is overall I really enjoyed the theme of this album I think just this idea of creating a world no a universe full of different ideologies full of different feelings um, I, I really think that's a cool idea and I think that is honestly something that carried me through the album that being said this album was not my favorite Coldplay album it really wasn't I found this to be less enjoyable than Adventures of a Lifetime and definitely, definitely not what I would say is some of their best work. This album had a lot of segues and although I liked that these little interludes interrupted and created um, a place where there was no dead space within the songs themselves, it did feel just kind of abrupt. It felt like pointless. It felt like they just wanted to add something to the album to pad it out, honestly, and I was not a fan of that. To be honest, the most enjoyable tracks to me only numbered two or three. That's crazy. We have this whole, what is it, 11, 12 track album, and I could only appreciate two or three of them. I think that the ones I did appreciate were the ones where, in my opinion, they showed the most creativity. Let's talk about Heart featuring We Are King and Jacob Collier. I think that that was a brilliant piece of work. I really enjoyed it. It's a really simple sound. Like there really wasn't much to the background instrumentation, but despite that, the ballad sat really nice within the production. Um, I, their voices were very crisp and clean to me and the way they stack the vocals really added to the ambience of the entire track. So that was just very enjoyable. Let Somebody Go featuring Selena Gomez was another track I enjoyed. I loved the softness to it. It was a very welcome switch up from what the first few tracks felt like. Um, although a weird collaboration, I really do think that Selena ended up fitting in well within that track it's a i don't know that just got me that's a very weird combination coldplay and selena gomez all in all they managed to pull off a pretty decent track and i can't be mad at it people of the pride this is the first song that got me nodding my head the first song that i actually really truly enjoyed on this album this song just it it, it was perfect to me in the context of this album I really enjoyed the push and pull feeling I got from it. This sort of aggressive instrumentation. And then on the other side, you have this kind of softer vocal tone, kind of there to evoke emotion. Um, I really enjoyed that. And I thought that was really dope. And I think, in my opinion, this might just be my favorite slash the best track on this, on this project. My Universe featuring BTS was definitely another favorite of mine. Definitely one of the more enjoyable songs on here. It was a single released just ahead of the album release. And to be honest, I think this might be the best track on the album. Scratch what I said about People of the Pride. I honestly think that My Universe might be the best track. That being said, I really do think that this song belongs on one of their past projects just because in my opinion it definitely outperformed every single other song on here i think that the combination itself was definitely really interesting just like the combination of selena gomez i think that coldplay really outdid themselves with this song and it, i can't understate or overstate how much i enjoyed this album it immediately went on my playlist when i heard it so yeah, I always enjoy hearing BTS vocals. I also enjoy Coldplay vocals and they meshed incredibly well together. Coloratura, not a fan. A nine minute song, 
that in my opinion was cohesive but not very enjoyable or replayable i think it's one of those one-off songs that very much shows where the production or where the direction of their album wanted to go but not necessarily went there were just so many ideas wrapped up in that one song that i just couldn't find myself enjoying it um not only that it was a nine minute song I, I, I like I cannot find myself enjoying a nine minute song and being able to replay it. It honestly almost made me not want to re-listen to the album just because I knew that it was there, a part of it, something that I had to take into account listening to the album as a whole. That being said though, I definitely don't think it's the worst song on the album, but it's honestly nowhere near the best. Not the best way to round out the album in my opinion. I think that they could have done something a little bit different, something a little bit um, more traditional than making this nine minute uh, patchwork piece of music. Honestly, I'd probably give the album as a whole no, no, no better than a three, to be honest. I can't even sit here and say that I enjoyed the album as a whole. I enjoyed a few tracks, but even those few tracks that I enjoyed did not make up for everything that I thought was not good about the album. Um, the instrumentation was good, but some of the songwriting left a lot to be desired in my opinion, and just some of the compositions of the songs were not very enticing in my opinion. So, all together, that's where I stand. That's how I feel. That's where I was after listening to this album. I would love to know how you guys think, what you guys feel. Uh, where do you stand on this album? What are some of your favorite Coldplay albums? Drop down to the comments. Let's talk about it. I will see y'all in the next review. Thank y'all for watching. I'm gone.